Hey everybody, it's Steven with the PH at Rip Fan 8. It's Tuesday evening. Um, I'm coming and uh, doing a video or a basically doing a Toronto Expo recap. Uh, the Toronto Expo was this past weekend. I spent uh, three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday there. Um, I ended up picking up a bunch of uh, small cards, uh, OPG, uh, just 70s uh, early 70s cards of some uh, hall of famers that were in pretty really good shape i ended up picking up a few rookie cards of uh guys i i don't have and this would be just to give you an example a uh, joe morgan and tony prez and a uh, ryan sandberg uh i picked up a uh, my very first kogan's chips card uh Kogan's Chips uh, thing, which uh, was pretty exciting. And I ended up picking up a, uh, a couple um, couple other bigger cards that I think are bigger cards. Um, one's, one's a somewhat bigger card. Um, I ended up picking up, and I'll show it now, the 1973 Mike Smith. Uh, this is the OPG version, and uh, it's uh, it's a very sharp looking card. Um, from the centering perspective, uh, right to left looks really sharp. Uh, top to bottom, uh, I would say bottoms uh, 65 to 70 uh, compared to the top, which would be 35, 30 to 35. So uh, it's very very sharp looking card. The back also is uh centered very well so uh quite pleased with this i have the uh tops version now i do have the opg version so i'm uh, i'm very excited about it and uh i uh, i got it for a really really good price uh so i'm just gonna set this down in front of my emblem there just so everyone can see now the uh, the big uh, the big pickup for me this weekend uh, nothing comparable to the pickup I had the previous weekend in Strongsville. Uh, as anyone's watched my video from Strongsville, uh, my recap and also my uh, my video from the Friday night uh, was uh, the forty eight forty nine Leaf Jackie Robinson. Uh, that card is spectacular. I, I am still, still super, super hyped and, and pumped about picking that card up. It was, uh, uh, it was such a an awesome example. Um, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful example of uh, of the Jackie Leaf card, and I couldn't be happier. Now, as much as uh, I like to see it every day, I, I don't have it here anymore because I've, I've since put it in the bank in the safe deposit box. But uh, I did take a picture of it, uh, printed it off at work, a colored picture, so I have it on my desk. And uh, I get to look at it throughout the day while I'm at work, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but uh, I, I, I can't be more happier than uh, that pickup. But I'm going to get back to this, this weekend, at the Toronto Expo. Um, it... Uh, uh, the Friday afternoon, um, I was looking around and I came across a couple, um, a couple, uh, 1932 Sinella Babe Ruth type two cards that I noticed last year back in November at the expo there, uh, to Toronto Expo. I noticed, uh, they were selling there, but, uh, I didn't pull the trigger then, um, come Saturday uh, morning, um, I noticed another example, but this time not just in the three or four. I came across uh, an example with the old SGC label, a 7.5. I'm going to show this card now. And there's the, uh, the version I end up getting. It's the old label, 7.5. It's absolutely beautiful. The centering's just spectacular. Uh, again, the centering, it, max 60-40, but it's it, the registration, it's sharp, it's clean. Um, this is a beautiful, blue, beautiful example. Um, I couldn't be happier. It was my big pickup this weekend in Toronto. So, uh, 
I've, I've been eyeing this card for the last couple shows in Toronto, so, or the last one at least in November. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased to add it to my PC. Uh, the one uh, the one thing about it is knowing before I purchase it, the back, which I'll show now, the back of the card is spectacular still, but uh, the slab itself, as you can see, has a little crack in it. So I will be taking this to, or sending it to SGC to get re-slabbed and uh and i'm fine with that i knew what i was going into when i purchased this uh this card i uh it has the old label on it so i have no problems uh putting in a newer slab but uh, i am so so happy that uh, i basically have this card now as part of my collection and i couldn't be happier with its uh with the pickup it's uh just just spectacular I'm so pleased with it. Um, so I've had a, uh, I've had two really fantastic back-to-back -back weekends uh, picking up stuff. Um, obviously, in the Strong Show show, I picked up uh, probably my Grail card, and I've, uh, I'm sorry about uh, continuing to repeat how happy I am about it, but it is just spectacular. I'm so happy it, that card really has made my, uh, uh, made my year so far um and it probably will be the whole year because it uh, it was something i certainly want this card is equally uh i'm very happy about uh because it will go part of my uh part of my pc of some of the babe uh, ruth cards i do have now um i am uh, i am gonna back off a little bit for the next couple weeks couple months uh, i gotta uh, start to save money again uh, as uh, the national is coming up late July in Cleveland, and uh, I, uh, I really, I think I mentioned it in my Strongsville recap, I believe, or maybe not, uh, but I'm, uh, my uh, goal going to Strong, uh, going to the national will be uh, possibly trying to get myself a 49 Bowman Jackie. Uh, that's one that has uh, I've left to picked up that the 49 Bowman and the 52 tops are for the most part the two big ones I have left for Jackie um, so uh, as uh, anyone that's watched some of my videos I do have the 47 bond bread one in the lower grade but it's spectacular too so uh, but yeah that's uh, that will be my goal for the national but um, I just want to say thanks to everyone for uh, for checking out uh, checking out what I picked up this weekend in uh, Toronto. I didn't show many cards. Um, I got uh, probably 15 other cards I could show here, but uh, these were the two that were the the big uh, the big purchases for me. Obviously, the one you still see in the screen was the uh, was the big purchase for myself. But uh, that Mike Smith uh, rookie OPG card is still a fantastic looking card. I mean, that is a beauty when you look at it. Uh, the centering's very good, top to bottom's a little off, but it is still a fantastic card. And this Babe Ruth is spectacular. Just uh, a 7.5, it's uh, just a beautiful looking card. Really sharp, really clean. So uh, um, one other note I wanna make is, uh, I ended up uh, touching base with my uh, my good buddy Mike at Canadian Cards. He was there with a good friend Dave. Plus, he met one of his uh, I believe it was one of his face Facebook buddies, uh, Doug, out of uh, from the East Coast, uh, from uh, down uh, somewhere on the uh, New Brunswick or something like that. I think he was mentioning. But uh, I talked to Mike on Saturday, and uh, it's always always super special. Uh, uh, spending time with Mike, and I hope uh, I hope that uh, we uh, everything works out where we go to the national again together. So um, I just want to, as always, thank Mike for uh, for all his kind words he says uh, about me, and uh, uh, the most important part is uh, my uh, my last year of vintage pickup is. Uh, He's been a big influence on me uh, as um, I've changed gears pretty quickly from uh, from some of the stuff I used to collect to where I'm at now, and and I couldn't be happier.
I couldn't be happier. Now, there's one other quick little thing I want to say before I, because it's getting into 10 minutes. Um, I see a lot of uh, a lot of my peers, a lot of the content creators, uh, uh, and I don't want to mention a bunch of names, but they talk about uh, magazines and books and the knowledge when they talk about the cards and, and certain players is uh, is uh, just uh, fantastic. So uh, at this show in Toronto, uh, there was a, uh, a dealer there that were selling some books and I ended up picking up four books to uh because i'm gonna start to read a little bit more uh so i understand the players and some of the game a little bit better but uh, not as much as the cards but the players themselves uh the four books i picked up was uh, uh one uh hank aaron uh the second one was about with willie mays the third one is lou garrick and the fourth one i picked up which i'm going to start reading first is going to be my guy jackie robinson so I picked this one up and I'm going to start reading it uh, very soon um, if I can find the time. But uh, I just want to uh, try and educate myself a little bit more about uh, what uh, what some of these guys went through and have a better understanding of their uh, their career and possibly their uh, their life and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, I, I just find it pretty interesting when I uh, watch some other content creators uh, speak about uh, some of the stuff on uh, on the bunch of the uh, the players that they're showing or displaying. So uh, I'm uh, I figured hopefully I can uh, start educating myself a little bit more on some of the history and some of the, about the players. So, uh, but I want to thank everyone again for watching. Um, Hopefully you, uh, everyone's doing well. Um, keep putting out those uh, those videos because uh, I I just love watching what other people pick up. Uh, uh, their their content, their information is just spectacular. So again, thank you very much, and everyone have a good evening. We'll talk soon. Bye now.